Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and in today's video I am going to be roasting YouTubers and celebrities Coachella outfits. I mean not really roasting because I don't think there's anyone that I saw that looked absolutely horrible like Coachella but pretty much today I am going to be reviewing celebrity and YouTubers Coachella outfits. So if you didn't know, if you've been living under a rock, Coachella was the last weekend and it seemed like every celebrity and influencer in America was there and I don't know about you guys but I had some major FOMO. I was watching all of the live streams and trying to live my best life at Coachella while I was in my bedroom. So I thought I could get in on the action by reviewing some of these outfits. So I asked you guys on Twitter to send me some celebrity or influencer outfits that you guys either loved or disliked and I thought today just be fun to review them together. Now disclaimer, I mean no harm at all by this video. Fashion is of course subjective so an outfit that I don't like I'm sure or someone else likes and I mean I have definitely had my own fashion flops I mean just go back on my channel I am sure you will find some so there is definitely no harm meant by this video so without further ado let's get on into it all right the first influencer that I'm gonna roast is Nikita Dragon this is what she wore on day one and I love the outfit it is this gorgeous lime green Chanel two-piece and it is definitely a Coachella vibe I like that it's not just an ordinary two-piece and she's added in the sleeves as well and of course the rainbow hair I think the rainbow hair really adds to the look and says like this is a festival look not just like a cute little Chanel set do you know what I mean I feel like with some of these upcoming ones it doesn't look very festivaly but this the hair definitely makes it so for the first outfit I give it an 8 out of 10 then on day two she was not messing around that's for sure this is what she wore and I love this outfit. I think that it looks amazing. First of all, her body looks amazing. She is stunning. And I love this outfit. I love all of the rhinestone detailings. But I wonder how this would go at a festival. Like, it's a festival. It's hot. I hear everyone complaining about their heat. So she must have melted. And I think that hat would definitely get annoying. So I wonder if she just wore that for photos, you know. For her second outfit, I'm going to give her a 9 out of 10. Because it is very creative. Very original. I mean, the top even says dragon on it. And I love this. She looks so Stunning, but her third outfit she matched with Bretman Rock who I love Bretman so much. He's so cool and I mean they weren't messing around Nikita definitely looks like Beyonce. Beyonce wore an outfit like this um, when she performed when she performed with Nicki Minaj once and I'm guessing that was the inspo. I doubt that it would have been <laughs> by accident, but I love how they match. So for Nikita, I'll give I think a 7 out of 10. Next up is Stassi. I don't know if she's an influencer or a celebrity. I don't really know what you would say. I was a little disappointed with her outfit. She always looks really cool and I loved her Opali collection. I thought that was amazing. But at Coachella, she just kind of didn't really do much. She just wore a purple plain bodycon dress with some purple sneakers and what looks to be a sequined uh, fanny pack across the top here. Now the sequin fanny pack, that's definitely Coachella. The rest I feel like you could just wear any other day, not at a really cool event like Coachella. I feel like that's the time to dress up, you know, whereas the rest of the outfit you could literally just wear hanging out or whatever. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. She still looked amazing. I mean, of course, she always looks a flawless, but it was just the outfit was a little bit disappointing. Next up is Liza Koshy and I saw this one on Instagram and you guys, I think this is my favorite outfit that anyone wore at Coachella. She gets a 10 out of 10 for this one. I mean, look at this photo. Doesn't that look amazing? This outfit is iconic. I don't care what anyone says, it is iconic. That is a very Coachella outfit. Honestly, I give it a nine out of 10. Not a 10 because I feel like I can't give a 10 out of 10 to an outfit, you know, but a nine. This is my favorite so far. She looks amazing. Next up is the highly controversial James Charles. So let's start with his first day one outfit, which I like. It is this black um, bodysuit, I guess you'd say, with some black uh, fishnet stockings covered in rhinestones. I like this outfit. I can't see the front and I couldn't find any photos of the front of this outfit. So based off the back, it's nothing new. It's definitely been worn a lot before, but I mean, he still looks really good. And if you imagine his personality in this outfit, I think he would have rocked it. But day two, 
day two caused some controversy. So this is what he wore. Am I gonna get demonetized? Oh my god, okay, I might cover up James' butt because I don't want to get demonetized for showing that because it is a lot. His whole butt is, is hanging out. It's there. And I've been thinking for a while what I would say about this outfit because I honestly have mixed opinions on it. I am very much like, it's just a human body. We all have it. I mean, back in the day, the paintings were all of naked people and... It is just anatomy, so it doesn't really matter. So it definitely takes a lot of confidence to wear an outfit like this. But I mean, he knew what he was doing. James definitely wore this to spark, not necessarily controversy, but to get attention and get people talking. And he's definitely done that. Everyone online has been talking about this outfit. And if you can't see that that's why he wore it, well, surprise. <laughs> and because last year his Coachella outfit was talked about so much, I'm sure his team was looking for a way to get that going again this year. And I mean, it worked. Everyone is talking about it. So I think overall, I like this outfit. It's definitely original. It's definitely creative. And it is in the festival vibe. So I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Then on day 3, he covered up a little bit more, but still had his butt out. This outfit I don't like as much. I'm just personally not a fan of like the cowboy looking outfits and that's a thing at Coachella and especially this year because of that Billy Ray Cyrus song that everyone loves. So he does look good but I prefer the first two outfits even though this is like the least controversial. I don't know, I feel like it's not as James. It's not as extra, you know? So, I mean, I guess you could argue that it is because his whole butt is out and it's covered in fringe. But compared to his other ones, it's not as extra. So he probably wanted to tone it down a little on day three. Maybe a seven out of 10 for this one. He still looks good, don't get me wrong. It's just that like the other two were a lot better. Next up is Corinna from the vlog squad. Her first outfit I saw and I was like, oh yeah, cool, just like a typical Coachella outfit. It's nothing really special, it's just something that like lots of people wear to Coachella. Got some glitter and some snake print and she looks good, she looks good. Don't get me wrong, Corinna always looks good, literally always looks good. But it's just a very simple Coachella outfit, you know what I mean? But then her other outfit, oh, I think it's amazing. It's this fairy looking costume. When I first saw it, I didn't really like it, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh, that's a bit odd. But then when I kept seeing photos of it, I started to like it more and more because I realized it's very unique and very individual. I haven't seen anyone wear anything like this and it's very trendsettery. Like she's matched her hair to the outfit and it just captures the vibe of Coachella perfectly. I think she has done really well with this outfit, making it all work really well while still wearing something very different. So I love this outfit. She definitely deserves props for this one. You guys, next up is Lele Pons. I know she's very controversial. I'm not gonna get into that, but her outfit, I iconic because she looks amazing. This is what she wore on day one and I think it is so cool. It is just amazing. So she's wearing this gold dress covered in gold chains and it just looks amazing. This would have been so much fun to dance in and I just think it suits her so well that honestly, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I know, I know I said I wasn't gonna give any but it looks amazing on her. Her hair and makeup look so good and I mean, it is very original and I just love it. Then the next day, her outfit was even wilder, which I definitely did not expect. She is wearing butterfly wings covered in feathers around her neck and it comes out. And it's definitely interesting. <laughs> it is very Coachella-y, but it's also very dance recital-y, you know what I mean? She looks really good. I love that she's matched her hair and her makeup to the wings and it's definitely very, very extra. But I kind of feel like if you added some ballet shoes, it would be a dance costume, which maybe that's the vibe that she was going for. So I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10, just because it's so original, so original, so extra. So we'll get some bonus points there from me. And she looks amazing. Next is Amber Scholl. She looks very rich. That's how I would describe Amber's outfit. It looks really good, it suits her very well. From what I've seen, Amber always does well at making her style work 
for other events, you know? Like, I would struggle at Coachella with what to wear just because my style is pretty different. But Amber always looks amazing wherever she goes. So I think she's done really well at keeping true to her style by making it festival wear. Does that make any sense at all? I hope so. So I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Next up is Alyssa Violet. And she is wearing a black sweater and some uh, stockings here covered in some rhinestones, which looks really cool. She definitely looks like someone at a rock concert, you know what I mean? But it's a Coachella vibe, that's for sure. I actually really like this outfit. It's very simple for Coachella, but it works. Like, she looks really good. I also love the little detail that she's put in by making her hair clips match her sweater. And I think that she has just made a simple Coachella outfit look really good. So I'm going to give her an 8 out of 10. Next up is Paris Hilton. I love Paris Hilton. I think that she is iconic. But I find that with her style, sometimes she doesn't really dress in this era. She's kind of still stuck in the 2000s. And I think that her Coachella outfit is the same. So I'm not really a big fan of the glasses. I feel like they were in in kind of 2010, not so much now. And the dress I do like. I think it looks good. But I think that the gloves, like the fingerless gloves, again, are a little bit outdated. The dress is really cool. I think if she hadn't worn the accessories with it, it would have looked a lot nicer. But that is Paris's signature style, I guess, but it is just a little bit outdated. So I'm gonna give this one a five out of 10. Next up, we have Kylie Jenner. I always get so excited for Kylie's outfits because she is iconic. I don't care what anyone says, the Kardashians are iconic. And she did not disappoint with her Coachella outfit, okay? I'm telling you right now, 10. 10 out of 10. So this is what she wore, a sequined dress with some sequined sleeves attached, and it is amazing very original it looks iconic and her little handbag i think is so cute i googled it and that bag is like 550 dollars so wow i love it i just think her outfit is amazing iconic she looks like a disco ball but it isn't very festival ish it's more of like a glam new year's eve outfit than a glam coachella outfit so for that reason i'm gonna give it a eight out of ten and the lucky last influencer at coachella's outfit is Grayson Dolan. Now I know that the Dolans have a massive fan following. I've actually never seen any of their videos, so my apologies, but um, I really like his outfit. But I think that he looks really cool. I love the little blue vest, is that what you'd call it? I think that looks good and I love how he has matched his belt with the shoes and it just looks like a cool festival outfit. It's very simple yet he has the festival look down pat. See, just taking that one vest and adding it to the look has changed it from like just an ordinary outfit to a Coachella festival fit. And that is the end of me roasting celebrities and influencers outfits. What did you guys think? Let me know it down in the comments section below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week. And if you want to see more of my face or some of my outfits, unfortunately I don't have any Coachella outfits, but you know, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. My links are on the screen right now and also down below. And that's the end of today's video. I really hope you guys liked it, something a little bit different, and I'll see you next time. Bye!